Hi, my name is Yara. I'm 19 years old. I'm Sandrine. I'm 26. So my name's Shelby and I'm 13. And I've experienced street harassment. I was waiting at a bus stop uh, to get to college and it was around midday and a man was staring at me um, from across the street and uh, I didn't really take any notice of it but um, he crossed the street and came to the bus stop. As I was walking one day I remember I was walking to the station with my friend and then there's this guy that called my name and he was like hey do you have a number? It was during the summer holidays and I was walking to my local corner store and um, on the way I was um, well there was this guy in a car and I didn't reply I didn't want to reply so I kept on walking I constantly felt his eyes on me and it was making me incredibly uncomfortable I could tell that he was locked on me and it would just make me want to look away immediately the entire time walking he was just shouting stuff like oh yeah get it girl you know um, uh, wear those shorts stuff like that I noticed that he was um, playing with the zipper of his jeans and he kept following me and he was like hey like give me your number please and I was like no and then he wanted to like beat me up and then he said you're ugly anyway and then he left he had an erect penis in his hand which he was stroking he was masturbating in front of me and um, it's just I don't know I was like shaking once I actually got to the store and that just put me into this great state of shock that it was happening right in front of me. It was traumatizing. <laughs> My friend was actually trying to stop him from hitting me. This was going on for, for a few minutes, which felt like a lifetime when it was happening. I was like on the verge of crying. I had pe random strangers coming up to me like, are you okay? And I wanted to escape, but I panicked and froze and I was also stuck because of where the bus stop was situated I would have had to pass him but his other guy friends knew that it was wrong but they did not do anything to stop him and she was a girl like me so what can we do? it was just, it was hard you know and I don't, I didn't tell anyone really about it until like maybe a few months ago it was just kind of hard because it was is scary you know you don't know what to do in that situation it reached the peak of his eyes widening and um, him cupping the the tip of his penis as he was ejaculating and I just wanted to throw up I was so traumatized um, I immediately got my phone out once I could sort of come to in terms of consciousness and I went to contact the police what he had done at that point was he zipped up his jeans, put his hands in his pockets and walked away like nothing had happened. If I don't want to talk to you, don't try to talk to me. If I don't want to give you my number, don't push it. If I say no, that means no. Once I told people, they were just like, okay, so maybe not wear so wear such revealing clothing, you know? Maybe not wear so much makeup or ha have your hair up so you look younger than you are, you know? I realised that I will get still comments like that, but it shouldn't, like, affect, like, what I want to wear and what I want to do. Um, it's just rising above it, I guess. So in February of 2018, I was walking in town and... Um, he had passed me and I didn't quite realize it was him until I saw that he had winked at me So what I did do next was I got my phone out and I followed him and I was recording him and taking pictures I knew that I had to get his face and Just in case I lost him again just so that there was more evidence on my part eventually I'd followed him into a shop and I had contacted the police I was trying really hard to maintain my composure. I was frightened, to say the least. Um, and they had come, the police had come in, in about 20 minutes of me making the phone call and had arrested him. And then in August of 2018, it was taken to court. Um, and this was particularly difficult for me because I was on my own. And um, when I was being cross-examined, it was like reliving the entire thing, but also like being told that I was making it up. Um, so I had felt like everything 
was against me. Um, it became a sort of my word against his and that made me quite fearful. About two or three weeks after the court hearing, um, I received a letter um, saying that unfortunately I did not win the case and this had made me feel completely distraught and disheartened by what had happened. Hashtag put your genitals away.